So uh, let's try this one together. Um, it's one of these uh, cyclic uh, haloalkanes. Let's name this molecule. Can anybody name this molecule? Yeah, I know. Okay, I know you can. So what, what is the name that you have there, Bless? One bromo. Uh huh. So one bromo. Four, four dimethyl. Four, four. Cyclopexin. Okay, so I have a couple of questions. Usually when I see wedges and dashes, right, I usually want to put an R or S in front of the molecule's name. Why in this particular case did I not do that? The substituents you mean, right? Yeah. Okay, so wh which two would those be? Kirthi, I think you have the answer to that, right? The two around the ring. Yeah, so the two, so if we look here, right, so obviously, I guess it's not always obvious in organic chemistry, but there is a hydrogen there, okay? So, of course, this is different than this, which is different than this, but if we look at this ring substituent and this ring substituent, we'll find that they're the same going around, right? Because carbon and carbon are the same, so we got to go to the next one. Carbon and carbon are the same, got to go to the next one. Well, it's the same carbon, so then we're going to go back around. So this one, actually, there's no stereocenter there, even though it kind of looks like there is. And of course, there's no stereocenter there, right, for a similar reason. Right? That this one only has one, so that's the, the same substituent, both of those, and both of those are the same. So is everybody okay with this um, naming? And why did we put the bromo before the dimethyl? Alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Okay, very good, yes. Um, and remember also that you have to indicate four, four. Okay, and remember dashes where dashes are supposed to be, commas where commas are supposed to be. Okay, any questions on this one? Okay, wonderful.